Good morning and welcome to this week's video. We're back in Scotland, so two weeks after getting home, we decided to come back and we're on the East Coast. So we're actually staying in Elgin and last night we went down to Bowfiddle Rock. Um, it's low tide at the moment at sunset, but we went down just to have a look and I suppose get a bit of a feel of the place. The last time that we was at Bowfiddle Rock was around four years ago and what we wanted to do was try and improve on the photographs from last time we went. Didn't take an image last night, it was more about just having a look and, and trying to I suppose get a feel for the place and look at a few compositions. So the alarm went off at three o'clock this morning and it was actually forecast no, sky, uh, no cloud which we were sort of a bit mm, is it going to be worth it? So the alarm went off, looked out of the window and it was thick fog, <laughs> literally dense thick fog. Um, but we still went, we've still been down. So we spent maybe an hour this morning down at Bow Fiddle and it was really, really atmospheric. Um, pretty much from the top looking down, you couldn't even see Bow Fiddle Rock. But we went down and as we did and went round, it sort of opened up a little bit. So got some very different shots uh, across the... It's currently 20 past six in the morning. So why we've got a little bit of fog and a little bit of atmosphere, we thought we'd come and have a look in the woods. The first shot I've, that I've just taken is of this little tree, uh, but not from this side. I've walked a little bit further up and tried to frame it up. Um, it's a bit of a sort of warm up shot if you like, uh, it's been a while since we've done any woodland but we're going to go and have a look around and just see if there are any um, really nice trees that just catch our eye um, and just try and make something I suppose of this morning while we've got the conditions that we've got. Um, if we get something that'll be a bonus and if not we'll go back to bed. <laughs> So the composition that I've just picked out is of this um, lovely, lovely twisty tree and with the fog in the background it just is creating some really nice atmosphere. We are quite close to the road here and we've driven past this woodland a few times and I've kept looking in and saying there's some really, really lovely trees in there so it's great this morning to get an opportunity to come out in the fog. Um, but what I've done with this tree is I've placed it on the left hand side of the image and then in the background you've got three other trees um, that are just creating a bit of extra interest in the scene I suppose. I've taken a landscape shot and I've just done a vertical on this one as well but you've got all these little cobwebs as well I don't know if you can pick those up um, so I'm being really careful <laughs> where I'm standing because they're everywhere um, but I think because it's early and you've got that dew um, they're just standing out which is is just lovely but this section here of woodland is just lovely the greens at the moment are really sort of quite lime coloured um, and with the fog and sort of the the colours of the trunks just is so lovely it's so lovely um, but yeah, I mean, all I've done on this shot is I'm on F8, ISO 64 and 1.3 seconds on the shutter actually. Um, but I think that will make a really, really nice image. It looks nice on the back of the camera. Um, but what I might do is just take another couple of shots here and then there are some other really nice trees in front of me. So yeah, I think we'll maybe spend the next half an hour just, I suppose, trying to make the most of this location. It's a bit of a bonus, to be fair, after being at Bowfiddle Rock. Lovely.
So we've been wandering around for the last half hour just trying to pick out some other compositions. Um, but as we've been doing that, the fog has lifted. So it's not as dense as it was when we arrived. And I think for this woodland to do it some real justice, um, you know, the conditions will make a massive difference. And I am quite happy with maybe even just one or two of those images that we took when we first arrived. So we're going to head back to the hotel, have some breakfast and a little bit of a sleep. The forecast this morning, as I said, was meant to be clear, not a cloud in the sky. And it's completely, completely wrong. Later is meant to be the same as well. So hardly any cloud. Um, you know, it's meant to be really, really nice and sunny today. So depending on how the day goes on, um, we might get something a little bit nice later on. Uh, but for now, for the woodland, it's a little bit of a mini adios and we'll speak to you again a bit later on. Okay, so today has been pretty much blue sky day. So we had some breakfast, had a few hours sleep and took a drive out down the coastal route. Um, we've not really spent much time over on this east coast. So just trying to sort of have a look for future, maybe trips across. But we've come back to the Bofi the Rock and we can actually see it now, <laughs> which, is, which is nice. Um, there's no cloud, there's just a very, very thin strip just above um, the Bofi the Rock. There's some nice light on this um, cliffside. The sun setting to my right. Um, but yeah, the, it's low tide for sunset. Pretty much sunrise was the best time for the tide for this weekend. High tide was an hour before sunrise. So this morning we did manage to get some of those waves coming in and out. Although, sort of looking at the images from this morning, they're sort of almost a bit double vision. Um, with the with the rock, um, but really really nice, very different, very different images I think. Um, so we're going to maybe just stick it out a little bit. There might be a composition across this side that I can have a look at. Um, but yeah, it's it's just nice. We we wasn't going to come out because of the cloud, but we're trying to sort of get better at embracing the conditions, which we did do this morning. Um, we'll see what we can make of it maybe try and get some tighter shots maybe um but yeah it's just nice to come back out it's our last night we're heading back tomorrow so just thought we'd try and make the most of it So I've just turned the camera around away from the ball for the rock and shooting into the sun. Um, you've got quite a lot of rock in this foreground. And again, this section here, this section of land it is just lit beautifully. Um, there is a little bit of color in there as well mixed in. Um, you've got a huge rock out to the right. And then all of this, I'm presuming it's rock that maybe at some point might have been attached to the ball fiddle rock. Um, but the sun's setting just in front of me. I've put a reverse grad in and I'm on F13, ISO 64 and 1.6 of a second. Um, it's a little bit bright and I am getting a little bit of flow, um, but I've taken a couple of exposures just to sort of try and bring them together. Um, it's lovely, I think this has definitely got potential for when the sun sets maybe when it dips a little bit and there's more cloud over that side which is good so there's nothing at the minute still just a little strip but over this side there is quite a little bit of cloud a little bit of fluffy cloud so if it sticks around i think definitely shooting in this direction is going to be the better option um you know we were probably spoilt horrendously in Scotland with the absolutely fantastic conditions on the Isle of Skye. It's beautiful here, it's absolutely stunning. Maybe a little bit more cloud would help, um, but hey ho, it's nice to be here and it's nice to have another opportunity in Scotland to, to get some images. 
So yeah, um, I think what we're going to do is there's a path that goes sort of around this edge. So I think we're going to see if there's anything else um, across that way. There might be some other rocks. I've no idea. We've only ever focused on the bone fiddle, but there may be some other opportunities a bit further around. So we're going to take a walk and then come back for sunset. So we've just come back over to this spot and although the sun's not dipped fully yet it's quite a bit softer than the first images that we took um, so I was getting a little bit of flow um, but to be fair the first couple of images was just to see if something worked here um, I do quite like it to be honest um, what I've done is I've taken an exposure for the foreground and then dialed the exposure down for the sky just being conscious that I'm not um, positioning the tripod where the top of the rocks are going to poke through the sky. Um, I'm just, just getting away with it. I'm slightly worried about raising the tripod any higher than it is, um, just because it's a little bit windy. Um, I'm close to the edge <laughs> and I have a real thing um, about sort of being, being close to edges. Um, so I'm sort of playing it safe a little bit to be honest um, but it's lovely uh, it's making the water look really turquoisey which is really nice and you've just got all these shapes of the rocks um, as I said it's low tide it would be absolutely fantastic from up here to get the sea coming in and the waves crashing up against these rocks um, which they were doing this morning but yeah it's I suppose we've come up here really because it's low tide. I believe that at low tide down there you can find little rock pools and probably get some nice reflections of the of the bone fiddle rock. Um, but just really to try and get some different images. So I've gone for a tighter shot, um, just cutting out this foreground, just focusing on the rocks really and the sunset. And by doing that, it's cut out a little bit that sky above where there's not much going on with the cloud um, so the sun is sort of come through those layers now with cloud and it's just absolutely beautiful it's so nice to see again what I've done is I've taken a couple of different exposures um, so one for the rocks and one for the sky and on this shot I've got nothing creeping up above that horizon so to blend them in photoshop should be relatively <laughs> relatively easy um, i just really like the way that the sun reflects on the water and you've just got that really orangey feel um, and if you dial the exposure down um, you can sort of get that ray without blowing it out so that's sort of what i've been working on a little bit um, the sun is probably just off center in the middle of the shot but if I bring it any more round I cut this corner off I could maybe move um, but I'm happy sort of where I am to be honest um, I don't really want to be sort of <laughs> going any closer to that cliff but yeah it's what an absolutely lovely evening there's not many people around um, and it, again it's just a lovely lovely end to our little trip um, so yeah I'm going to what I'm going to do is take these shots for sunset we'll put the images up and we'll say goodbye Okay, so I think we're happy with those shots. Yep. Um, it's been lovely again, hasn't yeah, it? Absolutely. It's just been so nice to get away for a few days um, and come and enjoy Scotland again. I well, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week. Adios. Adios. Okay, so since this morning, uh, what have we been doing? We took a, a ride out down the coastal route, um, pretty much all the way through to, is it Peter, Peter? Peter's head, was it? <laughs> Peterborough, no. 
stay there, stay there. Stay there. <laughs> It's all right, just be careful. <laughs>